Ah, uh, good morning, YouTube. Right now it's 1041 on Sunday, August the 18th, 2024. I just had breakfast. I went inside of the Iron Skillet here at the Petro. Still at uh, whatever town we was in last night. We're still here. <laughs> I had an omelet. I, had, I got an omelet with veggies and meat and some hash browns and toast. That was breakfast. It was pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. 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 So I've been debating. I, I've been thinking about this since yesterday because let's talk about this load. This load that I'm going down to Bowling Green, which I'm 72 miles away from right now. The, me the, the message. The, the load that I'm picking up is a heavy load. Oh, hang on. Come on, load up. I just rebooted the tablet, so it takes a minute for all the apps to regenerate. So we're going down to Hinkle on Central Avenue in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Now, that's just a DHL supply chain. With the stop details, this load this is a 41,000 pound load. This is upon delivery, the driver must obtain a copy of the bills and deliver the receipt attached. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, so with that, with being a 40,000 pound plus load, I don't want to go back through um, down 24 and up and over Mont Eagle and going through Atlanta and all that crap. I, I, I just don't want to do that. So I was looking at alternate routes. So I have decided I'm taking 65, I'm on 65 now, I'm going to go 65 straight through Nashville and keep on going 65 south. Go to Mississippi and then get through uh, down to Alabama. We're going to get down to Montgomery, Alabama. Take 85 a little bit to the left and then we're taking, what is that, US 82 or 231 or both, whatever it is, taking it all the way down to 10 couple of reasons being heavy the mountains through that 24 and that that or that route and windy ass roads through the Tennessee Smoky Mountains going to use a lot more on fuel more wear and tear on the truck <clears throat> but going straight down to Montgomery we eliminate that mostly um, and it's only 60 miles longer either way I'm delivering tomorrow unless something major happens between now and then I'll be delivering this load tomorrow because I am uh, 729 miles from pick up the drop off but the ride I'm taking is 785 83 somewhere in that window so it's not adding a whole lot of length to the trip but it's should be a better drive okay understand so that's what we're gonna do. How far I'm gonna to get tonight? I was thinking maybe to get to Tallahassee, but that's 500 and some miles, and during I, I won't I won't be able to cover that in the eight eight and a half hour window that I want to run. So I'll probably I'll knock out about 400 miles easy, 450 somewhere in that window. We'll stop just before Tallahassee and finish out the rest of it tomorrow. I was just looking at the board. I haven't found anything to follow this one up yet. So we'll see what happens. Something. Tomorrow morning, I, I think something will pop up to where we can finish out one more load in the week. But I was talking to Kelly the other day. I was like, well, you know, if I can't get nothing out of there, I'm going to go by the Chrome Shop. But I'm not going to not take a load just to because I want to go to Chrome Shop and get stuff done. I'm, I, it's just something for me to do in case I get stuck there for a day or so. So, anyway, that's it for now. Breakfast is done. Pre-trip is done. Let's uh, get this day started. We are here. Apparently, I stopped over to Central Time somewhere because Tavis is 11 o'clock. My truck says 10, uh, 12:04. We're operating on East Coast time because that's where we're going. But there's a few trucks in front of me for check-in for a Sunday noonish. It's pretty busy here, I guess. So let me see what's going to happen. Uh, I didn't take too much longer than that. The, I went ahead and dropped my empty, not the spot she told me to drop, it was not, uh, it was already full, so I put it in the next closest one, and if you ever do that, 
The reason these officers, these damn going uh, security guards, they go by their system of what they have marked as full or empty spots. They don't know to correct them if we don't tell them. So listen, if they tell, like they told me to go into yard 91, the trailer in yard 91, rule of thumb I always do is the next closest one. So I went to yard 97, even though the driver next to me is like, hey, I supposed to park this. I was like, hey, you know, mine was full, so you know that you know how it is. Go to the next one. But whatever. But on your way out, let the guard shack know. Let them know. Say, hey, you wanted me in 91, but it was full, so I put one in 97. I put it in 97. So that way they can update their system. And if we all do that shit, then I don't have these problems anymore, right? So anyway, I just connected to my loaded trailer. She said there's some scales on site. Which I will, uh, I will run over. Just I'll run over them just to get a rough estimate, and then uh, I'll go to a cat scale and get an accurate weight. Um, there's a little truck, little little like a flex market right, just right down the street here. Uh, I was going to stop there. I don't know if they got a scale or not, but I was planning on stopping there anyway because they need to use the restroom. And um, but I just looked on the the flex manager trying to find cheap fuel uh, between here and Montgomery. And that that flex market that right here is 319, which was the cheapest I saw along the route between here and Montgomery. Anyway, because I've only got uh, I'm I'm between a quarter and three eighths, so I got a couple hundred miles I can go. But there's really nothing cheaper in that route. So I'm probably just gonna go ahead and uh, fuel up there while I'm there getting uh, using the restroom, and then just max out today and. Go as far as we go. But let me go ahead and just do uh, finish up this pre trip and we'll get over there. All right. DHL Hinkle in Bowling Green, Kentucky is now on my do not fly list. I got the BOLs at the guard shack. I went, now what? I, I was going to run over those scales at first. And uh, but it was backed up, so I was like, they said there was two scales, so I went around and went to the second one. The second one shut down, so I went to the guard shack, started to get my paperwork. BOL said 47,000 pounds or 46 and 46,892, whatever. I was like, um, that ain't gonna work. So, what's the problem? I was like, it's almost 47,000 pounds. So, did you go buy our scale? I was like, no, because it was backed up. She wouldn't go back around. Go over the scales, and if it's a problem, we'll rework it. <clears throat> so, okay. Went to the scales. Drive tires, steers are 10, 9, 40, no problem. Drive tires were 36,200 pounds, and the trailer is 32,300 pounds. But the total gross is 79,420. Problem is, I'm going to Florida. I can't knock those tandems back any further than they're at right now. They're right now. 40 41 bridge law florida i was told was 40 so I was like, okay we'll rework it i'm like listen you can't just do a rework you're going to have to remove some product so okay go into doors 264 pop the seal back up slide the tandem disconnect and uh whenever you get another green light you're good to go <laughs> So that's what I'm doing now. I've been bullshitting around this place for an hour now. The uh, work order said 41,000 and change, and how am I gonna get here? And it's 5,000 more. They're trying to squeeze every last ounce on these damn trucks. Now, if this is a day cab, sure, probably no big deal. Um, she said, "Well, you're Schneider, aren't you?" I'm like, "Yeah, I'm pulling for Schneider, but 47,000 pounds—it's too fucking heavy." going to Florida anyway. I mean, I could adjust the weight, probably. Let's see. I could, I mean, and I'm only on a quarter of a tank of fuel. So I'm going to add, I need to add a thousand pounds on my drive for fuel. So technically 37,002. If I took, uh, there's no way with this, even, even with a full tank of fuel, this would not have worked. It's just too heavy. So we'll see what the, the solution is. I hate places like this. They know when I actually when I know it was heavy, I was like, okay, 
These, they know where it's going. They know it's going to Florida, right? They should have a load diagram of what, how much they can put into a box that's going to wherever they're going to go. They should have that. And I'm, I'm trying not to lose my cool. Well, all I know is this is ruining my plans. Well, not plans. It's just ruin, ruining my time frame and all that crap for delivery. It's just ruining what I had in mind because this has to be delivered tomorrow. And I'm on my own little work schedule, so we'll see what happens. If, if I can't make it tomorrow, I'll call John and say, hey, I'm not making it, and here's why. We'll see what happens. Oh, okay, okay. One hour and six minutes and 27 seconds. Still on the dock. It is now 2.40 in the p.m. So who knows how long this is going to take. But it's digging into my time. And I don't like it. You know, it seems like lately, every time I pull out the camera to record after I've been somewhere for a while, I start bitching. It's like right after I get done with that clip, they come out. And it did, so... And this guy talked to me, he was like a 12 year Shut up, Linda. He was like a 12 year vet. He's like, man, they loaded this all wrong for you. He's like, I've been doing this a long time. And I was like, well, I know this is probably a load diagram for you guys. He went, no, man, it's all up here. I'm like, okay, so you can't trump experience. So we got it, we're good. Total weight, what is my total weight now? 30, let's see, 31. 32, 65, I'm 76, so it took out 4,000 pounds. Almost 4,000 pounds. All right, Linda, I've, I've had enough of you right now. Um, so, anyway, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. So I, I stopped here at the little fuel market I was telling you about. Oh, it's hot. Walked inside, got me a Pedialyte. I, I, I've always called these Pedialytes. Gator light, PD light, whatever. And I asked him, so I was going to, yeah, I had the Hunts Brothers in here, but the pizza was in there for like, it's all burnt up. I was like, bro, how, I, how long would it take to make a new one of those? Like about 45 minutes. I'm like, what? He said, yeah, the oven's off. It's 2.24 in the afternoon, or 3.24, I guess. And you call yourself a truck stop. You got three parking spots there. And I was like, okay, well, fine then. I get I get a little bit of fuel. I'm gonna get a little bit of fuel while I was here for 320. Uh, just to fill up the driver's side tank. I was like, do your pumps take EFS? He went, no. I gotta do it in here. I'm like, I don't know how many gallons this side is gonna hold. So I was like, all right, whatever, screw it. So we're gonna head on down the way. Uh, 783 miles away from delivery. Since it is uh, 325, we're probably gonna drive about three and a half, four hours. Maybe even just as far as the next the next stop, because it's a 12-hour total drive, the route that we're going. 783 miles versus 730 miles, which would go over 24 and not through all the mountains and all that. So we're taking the better fuel route and the less work of, on the truck. Anyhow, let's get on the road. we got to go. All right, we are at a rest area in Alabama, mile marker three, what was it, three, um, 301. Stopped back at a couple uh, truck stops, a pilot and a Loves, they were both full. So I was like, all right, screw it. There's a rest stop 20 miles down the way. I just wanna go there. Now the good news is I looked at my, uh, my trip. I thought it was a, um, open delivery window that closed tomorrow the 19th I must have read that wrong because the appointment window is open from this morning until the 20th at midnight so I don't have to deliver this thing on Tuesday which is fine so now I don't, have, I don't feel like I got screwed on too much time or whatever so um, right now, I'm 571 miles away from the location. I'll do over four tomorrow, and I'll finish out the rest of it Tuesday morning. No biggie. Also, if I give me more time to find a load out of there. Now, uh, granted, with that, uh, there's no possible way. Well, yeah, there. 
Yeah, there's no, no, no possible way to get another trip on this week's pay. So we're closing out the week with this, uh, which is, I'll tell you exactly, it's in my spreadsheet. Well, it's, it's right around 4,100. The exact number $4,036.15. First trip I did was from Houston to Jefferson, Georgia. Total of 879 total miles for $1,564.55. The loaded RPM was $1.84. My, my RPM after the 28 mile deadhead was $1.78 per mile. The next one was from Covington, Georgia to Louisville, Kentucky. A 60 mile deadhead, 470 trip, which is a total of uh, 530 miles for $903.43. Loaded, loaded RPM was $1.92 a mile. After the deadhead, $1.70 a mile. This load here from the Bowling Green in Kentucky down to Walmart in Brooksville, Florida, that was a 130 mile deadhead, 729 loaded miles, which is a total of 859. Total miles for 1568.17. Loaded RPM was $2.15 a mile. Total RPM with the deadhead was $1.83 a mile. So average load, average gross RPM for the week is $1.78 per mile. Looks like my cost for the week was $0.96 cents a mile. Uh, as of right now, I got one more fuel cell to put in. That'll be right around $90. My net for the week to the truck it's going to be like 75 cents a mile it's not horrible but again it's nowhere where we want to be but uh, we're getting decent loads compared to the weather was and, and I have been for a few weeks now like for the week one first week of the month my gross RPM for the week was $1.75 a mile uh, last week was $1.73 and this was $1.78 my lowest load for the month so far was that one I did from, uh, I had to go from Orlando to Pensacola. Remember that Frito, uh, was it Frito-Lay? Uh, Orlando, War yeah, Frito-Lay. Remember that dollar to a mile one? Oof. That was, got that, but that got me there to Pensacola so I can get go to Pennsylvania for uh, 201 a mile. So I had to do that just to get across Florida and not go empty on the, on the on. so yeah. So rates ain't been horrible at all. Again, not where we want them to be, but workable, doable, doable, right? So that's uh, what we're working with right now. We're going to keep working. We're going to keep grinding it out. Shut up, Linda. Don't forget the shirt. Uh, by the time you see this, yeah, today's the last day. The 15% off sale is away, but there's a 20% sale going on late. Uh, I think at the end of the month, somewhere in there. I'll let you know for sure. But of course, the shop link's always in the description. You can also click any one of the th products that I've tagged. Again, I'm working on a couple new ones, and uh, I'm also interested in your feedback of what type of product ideas you have for the shop. And you know, if I choose one, um, then of course you'll get credit, and I'll send you one. But anyhow, that's it. I'm gonna hang out here at the rest area. I'm gonna go inside, uh, use the restroom. I'm gonna stretch my legs and just get back in here and lay down. It's seven. Th it's seven forty right now. You know, uh, excuse me. You know, August is like so depressing, and I, did, and I know because the summer's getting wound down and and, and the day times are getting shorter. But I didn't realize we lose sixty three minutes of daylight throughout the month of August. So let's say August, it didn't get dark, dark till nine o'clock where you're at, right? But at the beginning of August. At the end of August, you're getting dark before eight o'clock. And then you know when November, December comes around, it's dark at five o'clock. Man, I hate this time of year because of the damn sh shifting of the sun. If this is a simulation like a lot of people believe, talk to the programmers. Tell them to stop shifting the damn sun in the fall. Leave it where it's at. Anyway, anyway, I'm ready to stretch out. Kind of aggravating today, but wasn't horrible, really. It really wasn't horrible. I mean, it could have been a lot worse. So I won't mark off 
that DHL supply chain in, in Bowling Green because of this one instance because I was only in the dock for about an hour and 15 minutes and they corrected the problem, they fixed it fairly quickly. So I'm okay. I mean, I lost a couple hours there off of my day total, but it could have been a whole lot worse. And then the guy come out and spoke to me. He was a cool guy. He was experienced and you know, and he, he knew what to do. He knew what to do. And he said, man, they weren't gonna let me take anything off. At first, he's like, listen. He, he's like, I told him, I was like, listen. He's gotta take, I, tell, I need to take at least 3,600 pounds off. He wound up taking right around that, which put me right at the, where I needed to be. So, it's all good. I'm gonna wash that out as that's just trucking. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna keep a bad mental of them in my head. If it comes around again, I'll, I'll try it again. So with that Louisville Kroger, I'll do it again because I was in and out in an hour, hour and a half. We're dealing with lumpers too, right? So, yeah. Uh, all right, I'm, I need to stop. I'm yawning. I, you know, yawning is the most contagious action there is in the world. If, if I made you yawn, give me a thumbs up. And I never ask for likes, man. Let's get this video to s see if we can't beat 75 likes. Come on. Come on, 75. All right, anyway, I love you guys. Thank you all for the support, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow.